Hey YouTube, welcome back. How has everybody been? I've been busy, but I'm excited to be back. I've missed you all. I'm sure you've noticed the channel has had a small makeover. I appreciate your patience while I took some time and figured out how I'm gonna get all this new fun content to you guys, but I'm ready. I also just wanna reassure you guys, don't worry, I have a watch order. I've been told what order to watch it all in, so I'll be posting in that order. We're good, so you know what? Let's run through the things. Okay, first things first, make sure you are subscribed to Darcy's Watching Stuff. Then hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload here. If you are interested in full-length reactions to any of the shows posted on this channel, you can find those on my Patreon. It's linked down below. Patreon also includes some behind-the-scenes stuff, some sponsored content. It's a good time. Come join us there. And of course, make sure you're also subscribed to my main channel where I watch movies and other stuff. It's a good time. And last but not least, leave a comment down below, but no spoilers. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Season four. It feels good to be back watching Buffy. I can't wait. Guess what? I'm even excited. Who would have guessed? <laughs> but listen, I'm double excited because today's the day I also start Angel. So I get to watch Buffy and then I get to watch Angel. It's like a double header, kind of. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Season four. Holy shit. I'm a little anxious because it's, I feel like it's going to feel like a new show, like a whole new world. We're not in high school anymore, man. <laughs> Growing up kind of fucking sucks, doesn't it? But I'm excited for new journeys. I just don't do well with change. <laughs> okay. So are we ready? Are we ready for season four? Do you have your coffees? I guess we're ready for season four. Ah, introduction to the modern novel. A survey study of 20th century novelists. Why am I so excited to see them? Maybe I shouldn't take psych. You gotta. It's fun, and you can use it as your science requirement. Anyway. True. Okay, you know what I wanted to say before we started is, I wonder what they're taking. I was trying to think of that. I was like, are they, did, it did, were, were we told what they were taking? Maybe they're just taking like gen studies for the first year. But yes, take psych because A, easy credit. You can bullshit your way through psych. So easy. And B, most of the tests were multiple choice. Except for the big ones. But do you know how easy it is to bullshit your way through multiple choice? I barely went to my psych class. And I fucking passed with flying colors. So I highly recommend. Take psych. It's also kind of fun sometimes. Why am I so excited to see what they're taking? Especially Willow. I think she'll take some cool shit. Like some chemistry classes maybe. They, they watch movies, uh, TV shows, uh, even commercials. For credit? <laughs> Isn't college cool? <laughs> yeah. I think it's good to be prepared. Don't want to be caught unawares. I've been busy. Fuck, that kind of got me a little bit. It's exciting though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be an adjustment. He's struggling. You can do it, Just little guy. Giles said I have to be secret identity gal again. That makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Tough. Can't let it take the edge off my slang. I gotta stay sharp. <laughs> Is this guy ever gonna wake up? He did. He's gone. So what's Willow's major? <laughs> Do we know? I want to know. Also, college is cool for that. I think the coolest, like, I took two really cool classes. One was on superheroes, and then the other was uh, end of the world literature. I fucking loved that class. I actually went to that class almost always. It was just at a good time, too. 11.45, so that helped. <laughs> Fuck, I'm rusty, man. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm nervous for her. What do we want? What do we want? We have to let the administration know how we feel. Yeah, right. Yeah. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior? Uh, you know, I meant to, and, and then I just got really busy. Party Thursday at Alpha Del. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Isn't yeah, this cool? Me too. There's so much going on. Overwhelming. Have you met your roommate yet? No. Me neither. Oh, they don't get to room together. I've heard about five different issues and I'm angry about each and every one of them. What'd you get? <laughs> oh. shots. It's just it's a little overwhelming. Don't you feel it? Yeah. Oh, Back of Richmond Hall, next to the auditorium. Thanks. See ya, bro. Go get him. God, everything feels slow and awkward. Like university. <laughs> It's too bad Giles couldn't be librarian here. Be convenient. <laughs> well, he says he's enjoying being a gentleman oh. of leisure. Gentleman of what? Of leisure. Well, he says he's enjoying being a gentleman of leisure. Gentleman of leisure. 
Isn't that just British for unemployed? <laughs> He's a slacker now. Yeah. Speaking no, I want him to be a librarian there because I just think it'd be so dumb that it would be so funny. I think that'd be so funny. I think that's so funny that she said that. It would be convenient. Yeah, it would. It sure would. It sure would. Have you heard anything from Xander? Not for yeah. a while. Country see America thing. Okay. See, we even have to whisper. It's like a whole new world. God, this is the weirdest episode because all I can do is think about university. <laughs> Like high school, I just blocked that shit out. Same with university kind of, but this feels like closer. And I went to a really old university and it was, I remember walking in there the first time being like, holy shit, this is so beautiful and like so cool and everything is so big. And like, cause I come from a little ass shit town and then I moved to the city and it was so weird. It was exactly like this. It was like walking through and you're like super excited because you're like, oh, it's cool. I don't have to take math. I can take this for the kind of math and you like feel so cool <laughs> like, ooh, i'm gonna take end of the world literature Ugh, look at how cool i am and then like walking through the school and being like so excited you feel so grown up instantly but then also just fucking terrified like instantly terrified also the excitement thing really only lasts for a couple weeks and then you just start skipping because you realize it doesn't matter if you're there or not everything gets put online probably maybe not during this time period but i could just get the slides that evening yeah god i was a bad student i passed but yeah this just it feel, i don't like i'm just all i can think about is like how it feels the first day of university it's really weird but like i i also need some sort of fight scene or something soon because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like anxious <sighs> i bet she's gonna run into a boy let's see i hope it's a funny aneurysm Introduction to psychology. <laughs> oh, I think there's a protest next week. Oh! Oh, oh, God. Uh, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm okay. It's Hi. Okay. Let me give you a hand. Let's put a few of these down here. So, uh, are you girls taking intro psych, or do you just want me dead? Uh-huh. Funny guy. You've taken it? I'm a TA. I'll be helping the professor out. I'm sorry, I've forgotten my manners and all the concussion. I'm Riley. Willa. I'm Riley. And this is my friend Buffy. Are you a human being? Well, it's fascinating. Yeah, you know, because everyone's got a brain. Oh, okay, Riley. Oh, please be, like, nice, funny, and human. That's <laughs> three things. That's all I need. Oh, hi. Are you Buffy? Yeah. Kathy. Hi. Hey, Kathy. So that's the dorm? Is this the richest school in the world? <laughs> this is so nice. I never lived in residence, but many of my friends did. And let me tell you, it's about half that size and you got a bunk bed. This is so nice. It has curtains and no bars on the window. Like what is happening? Why does it have bedding? Did she just, did she bring that bedding? And she's already been there and like made her bed and stuff? Maybe, but like also is it, is it not the same as the other girls? I could tell you for sure I did not have a bed skirts in university. I don't even think I knew what that was at that point in time, probably. It's a pretty nice room, huh? Hmm. I was surprised. Okay, so she's already been there. You know, I am really glad they put me with somebody cool. I can tell that you're cool. I just know that this whole year is gonna be super fun. Oh, oh you gotta invest in some earplugs. I like that girl's hair. I don't know why. It's not great, but it just feels right. Blonde girl, stand up. Oh God, oh no, I hate it. Who's scared? You are sucking energy from everyone in this room. They came here to learn. Oh, I didn't mean to suck. Leave! Holy fuck. Yeah. Fuck that class anyway. It sounded like it would suck. Oh, thanks. Hey, Riley. How's your head? You don't remember. Oh, no, sure, I remember you. You're Willow's friend. <laughs> yeah. You're Willow's friend. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember you. Buffy. 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 Right. Have fun today, okay? Thanks. Guys, there's a lack of fighting and creatures happening this episode, and it's making me just anxious. This is Psych 105, Introduction to Psychology. I'm Professor Walsh. Sweet. I'm excited for this class. <laughs> Make no mistake. 
I run a hard class, I assign a lot of work, I talk fast, and I expect you to keep up. Okay. If you're looking to coast, I recommend Geology 101. That's Thank where the you. football players are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love a teacher that gives insider info. Okay, here we go. Please fight something. I need this. Duh. Who are you? I just, give me a second. I have a thought. I just need this to feel like Buffy, the show. It doesn't yet. Which is fine, because I get it. We're in university now. It's a whole new world. That jump scare fucking scared me, and now I don't remember anything else I was going to say. Who are you? Are you Angel? Like, this pause shot, like, look, is that Angel? No, because he's gone. Just, I could find out in, like, one second, but I'm, like, looking for something exciting to do. It's fine. We're just, we're establishing the awkwardness that is... University just feels different. It's supposed to. Okay, that's fine. Let's move on. Let's figure out who you are. I feel like I know that nose line. Okay. Oh, oh. Wow, sorry. No, but no I, I wasn't. Hmm, well, I'm lost and I have a map, so. Oh, I'm Buffy, by the way. Eddie. Eddie. I thought Riley was going to be the love interest, but Eddie, man, are you human and funny and nice? Are you taking Psych 105 with Professor Walsh? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try. Are you? Of human bondage. Have you ever read it? Oh, I'm not really into porn. I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to cut way back. No, <laughs> there's no actual bondage. You <laughs> <laughs> said that so casually. Yeah, maybe we can help each other figure out what the hell they're talking about. Maybe even make it through the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, poor guy, he's so stressed. <laughs> I totally thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you lose your way? Who's that? Eddie gone too soon. Poor Ed, man. There's no shot. I could read that. No shot. Maybe we'll find out what it says. He's not there. You looking for someone? Yeah. Ed. Eddie just took off. Packed his stuff. Left a note. What did it say? It happens sometimes. He was really stressed out, but like, you don't believe it. <laughs> Boring. Why is she just hanging out in her bath form? Freshman. Man, they're so predictable. And you can never eat just one. Yeah, I'm hungry. What a shock. <laughs> I like their lace chips. God, always. Always so fucking strict on snacking. Why don't you let Dead Eddie get your dinner? That's pretty much the plan. Oh, I guess she walks. Giles? Rupert, is this blue cheese or is it just cheese that's from blue? Giles does still live here, right? He does? <laughs> he appears. Rupert, <laughs> you have a guest. Buffy, hello. What did I tell you? I was not ready. This is good. This is good for him. This is good for him. But, oh my god. Cal. Like, it's weird because I just always think, Cal. Cal's gone, man. I gotta let it go. He's moving on. And she's so beautiful. Holy shit. Oh my god. God. <laughs> You know, it was weird in all of my pacing. I was never like, hey, maybe Roop will find someone new. No, just Buffy and like Xander and Angel. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh, I hope she's like really nice and good and funny and just all the good things. Apparently, is that the only thing I look for in people is be nice and funny? Is that like the only two traits? <laughs> okay, just, just be nice. You know, you don't even have to be funny. A funny's a bonus. Oh, I'm so happy for my little heart. Is this a bad time? <laughs> no. This is uh, Olivia. She's uh... Hi, Olivia. Looking up old Ripper. <laughs> Look at his face. But this just looks like a bad time. No, you guys talk. I'll just go slip into something a little less comfortable. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I'm not supposed to have a private life? No. He's because you're very, very old, and it's <laughs> There could be a gang of vampires working the campus. 
We need research and, and, and charts and stuff. Uh, so you can do this. You haven't described anything that you can't do yourself. Remember before you became Hugh Hefner, when you used to be a watcher? <laughs> you no longer have a watcher. I mean, your safety is more important to me than anything, but you are going to have to take this. care of yourself. Yeah. You're out of school, and I can't always be there to guide you. Oh, my God, that just hit me right in my heart. I'm sorry to bug you. No, you didn't. Buff. I'm on it. I, I am here if you need me. Oh, my God, that whole scene is just like literally going to, to university, literally graduating high school. You have to do it on your own now. And you can. You really can. But you feel like you can't. You panic and you like try to go back to like how things were because everything's too different. <sighs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Why am I sweating? But then, yeah, you know, your old parents. I know he's not her parent, but he basically is. He's her dad now. Just kind of have to be like, you you got this and she does she's got this she doesn't it's nothing that she like needs him for <laughs> that was too much am i gonna cry the first fucking episode of season four i might i'm feeling this in my feels also i'm really just happy for him live that unemployed life my guy okay do your own thing you'll have to get a job eventually maybe like bills and stuff happen so did you help her I'm not sure. Yeah, in a way. Eddie? Do you got your- do you got- what's the fucking steak's name? Pointies? I was gonna say Spike. It's not Spike. Eddie. God, I was worried that something had happened to you, and of course it has because you're a vampire. Mm-hmm. Where is he? Where's the steaky? I'm, I'm not. Oh, he makes a good vampire. <laughs> Oh. The Slayer. Yes, hello. Oh, I'm I'm Sunday. I'll be killing in here in a minute or so. <laughs> you know, that threat gets more frightening every time I hear it. I think you had a lot of misconceptions about college. Like that anyone would be caught dead wearing that. I like her boots. Don't take this the wrong way, but... <laughs> you fight like a girl. Freshman. You had that, Buff. You did. You could have done it. I believe in you. God, that looks rough. <laughs> <laughs> the best part was when you ragged on her clothes. <laughs> I don't know. Like, why is it so weird to me that they're just hanging out in their vamp form? Is this a new thing? I feel like most of the time the other vamps hung out in their non vamp form. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Cause like, what if someone walks in? <laughs> Can you just change back real fast? How does that work? Have I ever thought about that before? I don't know. Is now the time? Mom? Buffy. Hi. Hi, how are I'm you? <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with mom? Everything's just been so high tech. I figured it'd be nice to come and crash for a no. Oh, well, yeah. You know, I, I didn't think you'd be back for a couple of weeks. You filled it with packing crates. Yeah, but I, I didn't move anything. I fucking love that she, that she has these fucking crates. Really didn't think you'd be back so soon. Neither did I. <sighs> Hello? Hello? That's nice handwriting, honestly. They took her bedding? Electricity. This is soothing. Rude. The 
whole world in front of her, and she comes back to this dive. Xander! Hey, Aww. Aww. That's exactly what she needed right there. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. What'd you do? What'd you see? Where'd you go? Did you make it to Hawaii? I saw the Grand Canyon. Well, I saw the movie Grand Canyon on cable. Really lame. <laughs> Ever. Even spoke to me until one night when one of the male strippers called in sick, and no power on this earth will make me tell you the rest of that story. Male strippers. No power on this earth. <laughs> College is good. Okay, is uh, once more with even less feeling. That's what no, I'm really. I mean, I don't know how to stop her. Then where's the gang? Avengers assemble. Let's get it going. No, I don't want to bug them. Can't cut what? Slaying? Slaying everything. It's a lot. Buffy, this is all about fear. It's understandable, but you can't let it control you. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to anger. <laughs> okay. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. No. Um, you had it, though. First you get the women. Then you get the money. Gone. Then you... Lost it. Okay, can we forget that? Yeah. We can. I feel much more abstract now. The point is, you're Buffy. Yeah, you are Buffy. Maybe in high school, I was Buffy. No. And now in college, you're Betty Louise. <laughs> when it's dark, and I'm all alone, and I'm scared or freaked out or whatever, I always think, what would Buffy do? You're my hero. Okay, sometimes when it's dark and I'm all alone. I'm Was so kind. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Xander's gonna need to stop. <laughs> that was the perfect fucking thing to say. I'm so proud of him. That was so nice. She's my hero too, man. I get it. Oh my god, am I Xander? No. It's fine. He kind of feels like a whole new person. But like with dashes of himself. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> That's growing up. See, I knew I, I knew I knew I'd cry this episode. This was just like it wasn't it was just it was just that this was like a really nice thing to say and I had it I had everything like built up um throughout the episode. I'm fine. This is fine. Never ever tell me about It's a deal. I'm go back. When it's dark Okay, sometimes when it's dark <laughs> and I'm all alone, I think what is Buffy wearing? That'd be one of those things you never ever tell me about. There it is. Let's put this bitch in the ground. What do you say? Yeah. Let's put this bitch in the ground. Kids disappearing every year. Not too many, just enough so that everyone thinks they up and left. Mm-hmm. Well, they have to be keeping it somewhere. On campus or at least nearby. They have to make it look like the person left, you know? Looks pretty sherry. Yep, for a little reconnaissance. You mean where we all sculpt and paint and stuff? No, that was the Renaissance. <laughs> Oh, I've had a really long week. What is happening? <laughs> Why does he know big words like that? Oh, my God. <laughs> They're always fake laughing. Mr. Gordo? I'll keep an eye. My diary? Uh-oh, score. I'll hurry. <laughs> this time we play it my way, and the rules are gonna be just a little different. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. But you made one mistake. What was that? Well, I'm not actually positive, but statistically speaking, people usually make it. Oh, Seems kind of weird. Yeah, weird's a pretty good word for it. Mm -hmm. Buffy wouldn't just take off. Th that's just not in her nature. Except for that one what? time <laughs> she disappeared for several months and changed her name, but we're bad friends. No. Well, let's think this through. Yeah. How can you be so calm? <laughs> Long, it's arduous hours of practice. Yeah. She was robbed. Or It's a prank! Xander! How are my guys? It's a prank! <laughs> well, some friends of Buffy's played a funny joke and they took Faster. her stuff, and now she wants us to help get it back from her friends who sleep all day and have no tans. Oh. It's like that secret language thing we should have had three years ago. <laughs> it's nice meeting you, Kathy. You too. What's up with her? Holding pattern. We've got some time. Mm. That's right. He doesn't know that it's like happening. You don't want to touch that. 
You know, this arm's not looking so good. I only need one. <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay. Okay. Where did everybody else go? Like all the other vampies. This is starting to suck. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did they just go? Yeah, you can just see the boom. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Hey, buff. Need a hand? No, thanks. I'm good. You know, I kind of liked her. I was saying, like, I want, like, a woman villain, like, a main woman villain. So I was like, oh, maybe. Maybe we will get a woman. But then, yeah, makes sense for her to take someone out first episode. I did like her while she lasted, though. She was kind of cool. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. It's like, it, it kind of feels like it was. The band is back together, you know? Dibs on the rowing machine. Fluffy. Hi, Giles. What's with We're the good. arsenal? I know I'm supposed to teach you self-reliance, but I can't leave you out there to fight alone. Let's find the evil and, 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 and fight it together. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Giles, can you get this box on top? <laughs> so? Turning out to be a lot like high school. Which I can handle. At least I know what to expect. What? Where are you going? Who's there? Ah! Is like a Slayer SWAT team? Cool. I think? Or are they bad guys? And they're just kidnapping him, not killing him. Grr. Arg. Okay, that was like a nice episode to start the season with. It was like a little slow to get going, but it's just kind of like establishing the weirdness of college and how out of place it kind of feels. I think it was necessary. It just made me anxious as fuck, which is honestly just like the first day of university. So it fits. I fucking cried the first episode. Interesting. I usually kind of reserve those for like, you know, when people die and like finales and stuff. So that was, um, a thing we'll just skip over i really like the like story of like oh i'm excited and then oh shit i can't really do this i kind of want to go back to like my safe spots group home that kind of stuff and then and then like oh i can do this and then everyone coming nice nice progression i actually really enjoyed that episode and then Roop coming through at the end and then them really not i don't want to say they don't need him but they like kind of don't need him you know, maybe he'll go through a phase of like wanting to feel needed. He's kind of got a girlfriend. I know he said old friend. He just said old friend. But let's be honest. She was not wearing pants. And how many people do you not wear pants around? <laughs> okay, I'm, but I'm, I'm excited for him. I, my, my little, you know what? Maybe the reason I cried is because I was thinking I had Cal in the back of my mind. I miss her. But like, he's ready. He's ready, so I should be ready for him to have a new... Okay, yeah, we can do this. God, I just hope she's great. Maybe she'll help us, you know? Is Rube not going to, like, be as big of a part of this anymore? That kind of makes me feel a little sad. I don't really know what else to say other than that felt... That episode felt exactly like it needed to feel. Xander coming in at the bronze when he needed to, when Buffy was, like, kind of just searching for an ounce of familiarity i guess okay so we met riley and oh yeah the other guy was a vampire right never mind i was gonna say old ed so riley i feel like is we'll, we'll probably see him again i was like thinking he might be the love interest because you know when you knock books over onto someone's head in the library that's like classic romance shit but he's kind of like not into willow like but he's maybe he'll end up being like willow's friend I did like that one line of like, oh, you're Willow's friend, because she's probably never been referred to as that before. Lots of good little things in there. Okay, so we met Riley, and we met the roommate. Was her name Betty? No. Oh, my God. 
we'll could just call her Betty for now. <laughs> I'm the worst with names. Have you guys noticed? I wonder if she'll end up being she's got it. She's the roommate man. She's gonna she's gonna understand that like things are weird, weird things happen, like you know, it's it's hard to keep secret. We've learned that. I think maybe we'll she'll maybe become part of the group. She's kind of quirky. We could use a quirky, quirky Betty. And then at the end, what's going on there? Tasers. Tasers isn't really something we've seen before. Was that a taser? I feel like it was because it was like electricity. I don't know. But that's kind of cool. It looked like a SWAT team. Interesting. Ah, I'm so excited to be watching this again. Yeah, okay, okay. So we got through the first episode of season four. I actually was really anxious because I'm like, it's going to be so different and so like out of place and weird. And it kind of was, but like in the way that it needed to be. So yeah, I appreciate that season opener actually. And now I get to go watch Angel. Not the vampire, but the show. <laughs> Fuck. If I cry in that fucking episode, I swear to God, something's wrong with me. No, it's not. I cry all the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Should we wrap it up here? We'll wrap it up here. See you in the next one. Bye.